Hello everyone, uh, I thought I'd just do a quick video in Unreal Engine 4 showing you how to make a day-night cycle, quite basic. Uh, the reason I'm making this is because uh, I've seen a few on the internet and they're not they're not great. They overly complicate things and they... Yeah, they're not great. So I thought I'd just do one for myself and... Yeah, it hopefully it'll be better, or at least you lot will think it'll be better. So, uh, first of all what we need to do is select your directional light or your sun select it make sure mobility is set to movable and cast shadows is enabled right so this means it's going to cast dynamic shadows uh you may find that they're not casting so what we have to do is go into settings engine scalability settings and shit shit and set shadows to epic so next thing we need to do is go into blueprints create empty class blueprint axa and name it some simply simple sky or something like that so then open it now what we need to do is create three variables first is simply called hour it needs to be a float and needs to be editable uh, second is day length length in minutes third is one day and I know I said three, but I actually meant four. I lied. And the fourth is one hour. Okay, so make sure hour and day length in minutes are both editable. So now if we head into our event graph, what we need to do is go one day and do set and make it so it is equal to day length. So day length get. Uh, float, so we need to do float times float. We need to get one of them. Do the first input as day length of minutes and the second as 60 and then just drag it into day length set so what that does is it simply times day length of minutes times 60 so that gives it to technically day length, uh, day length in hours um, which is obviously equal to one day so then we uh, in event begin play which is basically the start method if you're from unity click on the arrow thing called exec as i just discovered <laughs> Uh, drag it out and drag it into the input arrow for set. So that's set one day. So now we need to do is drag in one hour. Also do set and make sure the arrow from set one day is gone into the set one hour. And all we need to do is go float divided by float. So get a new one of them. The first input will be one day. The second input will be 24 because obviously there's 24 hours in a day. So that is those values done and set. So now we can get to actually doing the time. And for this, we need to go down to our event tick, which is if you're from Unity, once again, it's basically the update method. So now we need to go, and go to our uh, get and then drag our in again, but instead do set. So now we need to do is uh, we need to do a float divided by float. So the first input will be delta seconds and the second input will be one hour uh, so one hour get so that's the second input so that simply divides that uh, delta seconds is basically time to delta time which in case you didn't actually know what that meant it's the amount of time it took to render the last frame okay so now we need to do float plus float again the first input will be hour and the second input will be the division and so the output goes into hour and make sure the arrow from event tick is going into the set so yeah there's the uh, hour being set so if we quickly compile it uh, drag in simple sky make sure day length of minutes is actually set to something set to say one minute if we press play click on it you're going to see the time goes past and a full 24 hours will now take one minute uh, if you were wondering a 24 hours, I believe, is 1,440 minutes. I'm not sure, though. So, yeah, now we need to actually do moving the sun. So, now we need to create three new variables. This one is actually three. Uh, so, the first one will be sun angle. Second one is sun. Uh, and the variable type needs to be uh, directional light. Okay, and then uh, the third one is sky dome. And the variable type needs to be BP Sky Sphere, the blue one, not the purple one. That's important. So we need to do Sun Angle, drag that in, and do Set, and make sure that it is okay. Actually, no. Right click and go Float times 
float. And so the first input will be hour, and it will times it by six. Uh, wait, sorry, not times, divide. So float, oops, float divided by float. So the first input will be hour, and then we divide it by six, 60, <laughs> six. And then we need to do, then we need to do, for God's sake, then we need to do float times float, which the first input will be the division, and the second input will be 90. And then to that, all we need to do is add 90. So float plus float. So that, and then add 90. Nope. And so the output will go to the sun angle set. Uh, this is, that was simply done by trial and error. Uh, I'll go through what the rest of it does in a minute, really. But that, I shouldn't really have to. It's kind of simple maths. It kind of explains itself by the names and things. So, yeah. And then all we need to do is go drag in our sun. Get. Oh, make sure sun and sky dome are both set to editable as well. So sun, do get, drag it out and type in set actor. Oops, actor rotation. There we go. And now we need to obviously drag the arrow from set angle into set actor rotation. And now we need to uh, add a new node called make rot. There we go. So now we, all we have to do is drag in the sun angle into pitch, and then the return value goes into new rotation. So there we go. So now we are very nearly done. All that does is set the rotation. The pitch, in case you didn't know, is the y axis. So yeah, so now we need to do one last thing, which is update uh, what the Skydome actually looks like. So now we need to go into Skydome, drag that out, do get, drag it out, and just type in update sun direction. There it is. It is simply a method, and you just have to drag in the set actor rotation arrow. There you go. That That's it. That's simply it. And um, so yeah, the uh, all it does... Okay, at the beginning of the event tick, this is basically plus equals hour plus equals times without time divided by one hour. That's all that is. So yeah, uh, and I already explained what the start is. And as I said here, the uh, the the sun angle was all done via trial and error. There's no proper formula to that, as far as I know. It probably is. Whatever. <laughs> so now what we need to do is uh, make sure you have a simple sky dragged in to select it and make sure sun is set to your directional light and sky dome is set to the BP sky sphere. So now if we press play, as you can see, the sun rises. It's going to take one full minute to go by. So if I just set it to say 10 seconds, uh, which, yeah, I sh I'll do 30. No, I won't. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, screw it. I'll do 30 seconds. 0 0.5. Oh, no, 15. 0 0.25. So let's play. That's going to take 15 seconds to go by. There is the sun. It rises. It sets. Voila. And if we click on Simple Sky, we can see the hour. So it's midnight, and then it's 1. Yeah, there you go. So, yes. Thank you very much, very much for watching. If you like this video, then please leave a like. If not, then don't and explain why so I can improve. Uh, if you want to, you can subscribe. Please do. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, and there will be new Unity videos every Tuesday, providing I haven't finished with a series at the time you watch this. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to do these videos because I don't actually know that much about Unreal Engine. Maybe if I find something on a do about I will who knows uh, or maybe there might be some requests if you have any requests for anything ask and I'll have a look at it so yeah thank you very much for watching bye bye